Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to fix sound or audio problem in Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. It's a very common problem and faced by many people. So, and we will be doing very simple yet very powerful steps to fix all these kind of issues. Please make sure you watch the whole video and we will be able to fix the problem. So the very first step click on the sound icon just do a right click on the sound icon and the very first step will be troubleshoot sound problems so this is the first thing which we need to do troubleshooters of Windows 10 and Windows 11 is a very effective tool and it will check the audio status so make sure you do that and see if the sound is working or not from here you can select the device to troubleshoot and you just need to click on next troubleshoot and it will be checked so once this is done, we need to check the driver. What exactly the driver is? Is there any conflict in the driver? So for that, we just need to do a right click in the start icon and then go to device manager. So here we are looking for sound and video game controllers. So once you click on this expansion, you will find Realtek Audio. So from here, select the Realtek Audio and then just do a right click and click on update driver so once you do that click on this search automatically for drivers and if it says the best driver is already installed not a problem we'll close this and we will do a right click again and click on update driver and we will select browse my computer for drivers now here we see we will select let me pick from a list available so whatever the options you are getting here just select one by one and click on next and restart the computer and see if your sound problem is fixed or not on Windows 10 or Windows 11 once this is done if you still have issues we will move to the next step do a right click on the sound icon and this time we will click on sound settings now please make sure the volume is to the right corner sometimes we click here and it disables the volume so please make sure it is to the hundred percent or at least higher now click here in the start icon type control and you will find control panel so once you click on that you will see a window like this and if you do not see a window like this you just need to click on this view by and select either the large icon or the small icon so once you do that scroll down and we are looking for a sound so I have found it I'll click on that and a window will appear like this so please make sure that your device is selected and set as a default and then go to the properties of that check the levels here make sure the levels are higher it's not at 0% and once this is done click on OK and go to the recording section as well and here also check your device select it go to properties and go to listen and go to levels and check what exactly the level is once you're satisfied that all is correct just click on OK and restart the computer and see if your sound problem is fixed or not on window on your laptop or a desktop if you still have issues then just do a right click in the start icon again and then go to device manager and here we will go to sound and video controller select the Realtek audio driver just do a right click and click on uninstall device and here click on uninstall so once you uninstall that doesn't mean it will delete the driver now please make sure that you do not check mark attempt to remove the driver for this device so this should not be checked so it is it has to be unchecked and then click on uninstall so once this is done restart the computer and the moment your computer will be t turned on it will install automatically the Realtek audio driver and check if your sound is working or not in your computer and there is one more thing which you can do if you have done so many things if it has still not worked there could be a OS corruption so for that you just need to click on this search icon and go to update and type update 
and here click on Windows Update Settings and please make sure you have all the latest updates installed because sometimes if there is a corruption and when you update your Windows it also installs the driver, the essential drivers for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So once you update your computer, it might take some time, it might take 30 minutes or maybe 15-20 minutes, but it will be definitely worth it. Once you update your computer, restart the computer and check if it's working. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.